Good morning. Welcome back. Our time now, 612. Well, most Americans disregard the simple step of changing their filters, costing them more money and causing their filters to hold on to toxic waste. Shane Kinney, the CEO of Filter Snap, is here this morning is going to tell us about keeping our filters changed and how that can affect us overall. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Um, so I'm going to let... I'll, I'm going to let you touch that. Okay. Um, if you want to tilt that up and show the camera. So this is, I told Shane, this is probably a great example of what my air filter looks like at home because it's probably been a good year since I've changed it. probably looks exactly like I'm this. Your, but I'm your typical woman. I'm like, oh, I don't want to touch that. You know, it's covered in uh, whatever. <laughs> but if I would keep it changed, it wouldn't look like wouldn't that. It wouldn't look like this. Yes. Um, so what would you say, how long do you think that that went unchanged. Well, this is from a home that has several cats in it. Okay. Um, so that contributes a lot to how dirty the air filter gets and okay. how fast it gets that dirty. Uh -huh. um, this has probably been six months, maybe a little bit oh, longer. Oh, then that looks a lot Yeah, you'd be surprised that. how fast they, <laughs> they get dirty. This is a, this is a fresh one. This yeah, is this is what they should look like. Okay. Uh, when they come in from the store yeah. or you get them. Um, that's a, that's a big difference. Yes, <laughs> obviously a big difference. Um, so how I guess how often and based on what, when when should we be changing our air filters and, and based on the condition of the home, how large the home is, you know, give us some of the factors. Okay, well we um, at Filter Snap we say every three months is okay. the standard way oh. to think about changing your air filter. You're really making me feel <laughs> great this morning. <laughs> There are, <laughs> there are some factors that play into if you should change it more often. Yeah. Um, for example, if you have pets in the house, like mm -hmm. the filter we showed, uh, cats or dogs, um, they shed a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and so we might say every two months. If you have uh, asthma or allergy sufferer in the house, you might want to change it more often. But for most people, three months is about the right amount of time. Now, I, I mean, I can say that I, um, I notice things in my house sometimes in certain rooms that maybe I feel, you know, like my nose starts getting a little <laughs> itchy or something. What are the allergens that are in our homes that are being picked up by, by our filters? Um, you'd be surprising some of the stuff that gets picked up in the mm -hmm. filter. Obviously, everyone knows dust, dirt, yeah. cat, dog hair, pet Your hair. Your standards. Um, Aerosol sprays, so hairspray, um, <gasps> things like that, air Shane, fresheners, on, static man. guard, <laughs> <Come> <laughs> yeah. on, those kind of things the filter catches. Exactly. And what it does is, you know, what happens is the air circulates through your house. So yep. your air conditioning or heating system will pull air in from the house, cool it or heat it, and push it back out. Um, and what happens is it pulls air from all over the house. So right. whatever's in the air. Um, so dust mites is another one that makes a big, yeah. a big percentage of what ends up in your filter. I'll think about all of that. What are some other great tips that you have for us? I guess just as far as keeping our home and our, our air systems clean in regards to our filters. Um, well, I say um, at filter set, we say that the, the best thing to do is obviously change them. Mm -hmm. um, surprised how many people um, just don't realize how long it's been since they right. changed their filter last. Uh, we have customers uh, that come in, they get their second shipment from us, and they're like, well, I didn't realize it'd been three months already. So that tells you that probably before they didn't realize that they were letting it go four, five, six oh, months. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what that really does is it makes your system work harder. Mm -hmm. Because as the filter gets dirty, the air doesn't pass through it as effectively. Right. Um, so now your air conditioner has to run longer to cool your house. Mm -hmm. It has to work harder. Costing so, you money. Yeah, so eventually it, it is costing you money over time. Um, and, and at FilterSnap we say it actually ends up being cheaper to replace the filter every three months. Right. Even though it seems like it's more expensive because I'm now having to do it four times a year. What does your average filter cost and what kind of services do you provide the public as far as getting those filters out? Um, what we do is we try to make it simple. Mm -hmm. um, at Filter Snap we say it's not hard to change your air filter, but remembering to change it is. Right. And so what you do is you tell us the size of the air filter in your home um, or the size of it, depending on the size of your house, uh -huh. and how often you'd like to change them. And then we send them to you in the mail when it's time to change them. Well, that's, that's what <laughs> I need to get on that system. Because if you just send them to the house, my problem, I don't want to go to the store or mm -hmm. I forget if I go to the store. So folks can just go on your website yes. and get signed up. Yep, it's filtersnap.com and it's uh, simple. It takes about two minutes. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming in. There's that information. Head to filtersnap.com right now to get your shipment sent to your home.